So next thing I want to do is make this toolbar grabbable and movable. Uh, so of course, this tag along behavior is nice. Um, so it always kind of follows me um, and I can easily access these two buttons uh, anytime. But at the same time, sometimes when I want to uh, focus on this target object uh, in type in space app, uh, for the target object should be the text object. And sometimes I want to leave this uh, toolbar somewhere in the specific position, uh, make it locked uh, so it uh, no longer uh, follows me. So, so to do that, um, I think uh, <clears throat> we can add the manipulation handler that we used in the text object, uh, which allows the user to grab and move object. Um, and so that I want to grab this toolbar and drag it to somewhere and deactivate the server, the radio view, so that it just stays there. And when I want to make it follow again, uh, <clears throat> I can maybe I can have a button like a pin, pin button uh, to uh, make it unlocked. So to make this toolbar grabbable, I think there should be some kind of grabbable area like a handle or a larger backplate. So in my case, I want to try uh, with a larger backplate. Um, so <clears throat> this is currently, this is my backplate size. And I can just increase it a little bit bigger. Um, and of course, I think a horizontal width is a little bit too long. So let's reduce a little bit. Mm. Be a little bit bigger. So if I take a look, uh, it's a little bit larger. It has a little bit larger backplate. Um, so maybe I can grab uh, bottom or left or right. Um, actually, let's make it a little bit bigger. Then to make this thing grabbable, uh, I want to add, of course, the box collider. And if I can, if I take a look, um, so yeah, now this plate, back plate has a box collider. And of course, manipulation handler. And in this manipulation handler, I can assign this toolbar, the container object, to this host transform. So when I grab and move this quad, uh, the backplate, then it actually moves this entire toolbar. Um, and of course, for near interaction, I need to add near interaction grabbable, <clears throat> just like the uh, text object. And I want to show display this tether. So when I play, so I can, I should be able to grab this plate. And as you can see, now it moves. And but of course, uh, radio view is always activated. So um, even though I grab and move, it still uh, follows me back by that the radio view server logic. So when I grab this toolbar, uh, there should be a way to deactivate the radio view. So let's go back to this quad. And fortunately, the manipulation handler provides this nice events, uh, manipulation started and ended. So I think I can just deactivate the, uh, the radio view on this manipulation started, right? So here, I'm going to drag and drop toolbar and select 
the radio view and enabled and uh, I'm gonna just leave this checkbox as unchecked so that um, the object I mean the radio view can be deactivated so if I run it again um, so now radio view is activated but uh, when I grab grab the back plate and move to a specific location then now since radio view is deactivated so it's not following me anymore so that's nice so I can place this toolbar on specific location position then I'm gonna I can interact with the type and I can come back here and interact with the menu buttons and of course I can grab and move to some other place 